Okay, I, I kind of think that this might be my new uh, my new logo. Yes. Uh, how much is that? Four nine. Yeah, I, I think we have to get that. Pretty sure. check for no squeaks. <laughs> Nikki, what I found. I was just excited when there was one. Flip that over, Mom. Look at There's two. There's two toucans. And they are signed and numbered out of 450 and it's only $3.99 and 40% off of that. So, Mr. Toucan's going in the cart. Boop, boop. Mom got some yarn, too. We're on a roll. I think that's... Is it a... Is it a Yosemite ad? Two bear cubs, a Miwok legend from California's Yosemite Valley. I don't quite know what this is about. Here, let me turn you. I don't know how that came through, but that's intriguing. And it is in a vintage frame. Let's see, how much is that one? It is $4.99 minus 40%. We'll take it. I like these little pumpkins. Oh, what did you find? Is that? It's a goat, but it's very light. It's, a, it's like. He's also, he's got some, he looks like a horse goat. He's, very he's got a horse face. <laughs> it's a horse face. No, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know about that. I like these little pumpkins, but they're, I mean, they're just, they're dollar store pumpkins. But they are super cute. I wish we were closer to fall. I would actually decorate with these. Yes, sir. Now I'm tempted. Do I get them and put them away? Oh, what to do? I do. I like them. I, I kind of want them. I'm kind of going to get them. All right. What else is on the show? Ooh. Why do I keep getting drawn to the wax things? Because I don't like when I touch them and then they're wax. It makes me... That's uh, made, what? Made in China. But then there's this. It's a PetSmart Love-A-Pet. That is awful cute. I might have to get that. Yes. Okay, this one needs to come up here with the blue and we can make this really pretty little, look at this. Woo, put all those colors together. There we go. Green candy dish. It's just a green candy dish. Okay, I, I kind of think that this might be my new uh, my new logo. Yes. Uh, how much is that? Then I, yeah, I, I think we have to get that. Pretty sure. This one needs to go with its friends. Don't you think they need to be together? <laughs> oh, she found another one. Thank you. There we go. That's that almost makes me want to buy them because now it's like really pretty. Yes. <laughs> it's a very Yadro looking clown. Doesn't make him any better because he's still a clown, but he's not Yadro. What did you find? Oh, clown. Like, we just don't even do the clowns. No clowns. Clowns are yucky. If you think clowns are yucky, let me know down in the comments. I'm on, I'm on team yucky cloud. 
Yucky cloud. Yucky clown. <laughs> what are these? It's a propeller guard and riser. I'm not quite sure about that. That's cute. It's a red tag, so it's not going to be discounted, but there's three pieces in there of these little candy dish. Are they cars or are they a train? I think they're candle holders. They're, they are. They're candle holders. And they're a train. You know what? I think we'll take a chance on those for six bucks. That really only comes out to two bucks each. We can do that. I'm having to kind of like skip around to miss all the people. But uh, what did you find? Oh, that's cute. That hey, you could crochet a Hershey okay. bar. There you go. Crochet a Hershey bar. That's perfect. <laughs> this was $4.99 originally. Oops. I gotta like these, but I don't know what you would do with those. They're just cute. It is very crowded in here today, as I thought it... Oh, I thought that was a box as I thought it might be, so we're, uh, we're just doing the best we can do. Still finding cool stuff. Look at these, Mom. Are these? I don't know what those are painted on. Those are kind of cute, though. And then there's these are, like, bigger ones. J-E-H. Oh, there we go. There's a date on this one. 1980. I bet I could put those all together, or put these two together, and so, I don't know. They're cute, aren't they? You think they're cute? I think we're going to get those. These are cute little Mickey design magnets. Yeah. $3.99, so that, they sold for $7.99 originally. But that's okay. You guys, it's okay if something sold at a certain price originally, because it's probably no longer available. That does not hurt your chances of selling it for more. Magnets are expensive, and these are cute. I just really like the colors in this one so I'm gonna pick that one up and then this one is a 1920s scene these are super cool I'm gonna grab those and then I see there's another one I love the colors in this one too it's that same gallery services yeah let's do that all right, let's see what's in their little picked over Easter section. These, there's some cute eggs in there. Yes, there are. Oh, look at those. We're gonna get those. Spotted these little dichroic glass, little wine charms, and they are Pier One. So they will be 40% off of that. So that makes them worth picking up for me.
think I want this for me. It's got a little crack on it, so actually it's kind of got a big crack on it, but that would be really cute with a little plant on the porch. So I'm gonna get it. OMG. Ah! Okay, we just have a little bit of an issue here. We have one little guy who has lost his head. Oh no, we have two little guys that have lost their heads. But he's only $4.99. And you know what? We can just strategically place the plants. Maybe he's just hiding it in his little shell. Maybe it's not really gone, but that's okay. We can give them a home. Well, there's something you don't see every day. <laughs> are interesting. Oh, they're Corel. Who knew? And then I found this one. Doesn't look like much till you turn it over. And that one's only 99 cents. Natural life. Trying to look like anthropology. Oh, I see it's got the recipe on there. Ooh, these are pretty little, I want to say they're liqueur glasses versus shot glasses. They've got some age on them. There is some wear to the gold. That's a little suspect that it doesn't match up. I don't know. I just, hmm, I think maybe the wear, well, you know what? They're only 60 cents each. I mean, I can't really go wrong, can I?
sometimes vintage coasters can be really good. And there's quite a few of them in here. They do want $5, so it would be $3. And I don't see anything super exciting except for the horses. That's what's pulling me. This is going to fit on the little Apple laptop that I just got from Jordan. And I love that. Yay! It's uh, $5.99 minus 40%. Yay! I like that. I just grabbed all of these and put them in the cart. And you're going like, but Danny, that is not in your niche. Well, how many of those other? Like, I think I got 11 of them. They are 69 cents minus 40% and they sell for 10 bucks each. So I'll put a few of them together. Sell them in lots. That's a score. Finding anything else? All right, I think we're gonna go hit the linens. I like this guy. It's one of those pillow forms. He's very clean. He's very well stuffed and he's a Canada goose. We'll get him. Oh my gosh, and then it's a buzzard. I'm not sure I have ever seen a buzzard plush. Uh, yeah, we can get he's by Wild Republic and he is $2.99 minus 40%. We're gonna get him. I left mom in the line because it's really long while I came and did a little bit more shopping. So I gotta catch up with mom and put stuff in the cart because my arms are full. These toucan prints are fantastic. They are signed and numbered with a low number, under 500, which is what you want. I have yet to find who this artist is, but even not knowing that, just on them being these fantastic toucan prints, they're easily $25 a piece. I paid $2.39 for the pair after the discount, so that's $50 plus that I expect to get from them. What I discovered is Two Bear Cubs was a book written in 1997 and quite popular. I could not find another poster print like this anywhere, but the subject matter is very cool. I paid $2.50 because it was half price and I expect to get at least $25 to $30 for this. I don't just stick to things that are vintage or antique because the home decor and collectible world isn't all about that anymore. So I do pick up things like this that are fun and quirky. I will take this out of the packaging, put it down at the booth for about $15. I paid $1.19. Because the shipping is quite high on this, it doesn't sell for much on eBay. So what I'll do is put it down at the booth for $20 to $25. Oh, it's a Fifth Avenue Limited crystal train candle holder set. Uh, I pay $5.99 without any discount, but that's okay. I'll still make profit. There was something just so appealing about these little hand-painted paintings <laughs> from the 1980s. I will sell the pair for about $30, and I'll sell the one that has the two smaller ones for about $25 to $30 also. So not bad for $1.19 each purchase. 
I could list this set of keys for about $25 on eBay, but I'm probably better off taking these down to the booth and selling each key for $5 each. I paid $2.39 for all. Sometimes I buy things just because I have to. I love this sign and I think the people that come to my live sales on Fridays at 1 p.m. Pacific time are gonna love it too. I will start it at $1. I paid $1.79 after the discount. I fell in love with these big blocky prints that are by Color Pack, and I paid uh, $6.99 minus the 20% discount, so they were $4.19 each. And the one with the color is by Bin Kashiwa. It's a pretty famous painting. The other one is a 1929 Portland, Oregon street scene. I can easily get $20 to $25 a piece for these down at the booth. This one cost me $3.59 after the discount. It's a little smaller, but I just love the subject matter and the color, so I still think I can get $20 to $25 for this one as well. There are eight decorative eggs in this little bag that we paid $2.39 for. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I absolutely could not leave them behind. And this is another one of those. I just couldn't leave it behind. I paid $1.19. I should be able to easily get $10 to $12 at least, but I'll take them down to the booth because that's a little lower of a price point than I like to list on eBay. These Pier 1 wine charms are dichroic glass, and I paid $2.39. I expect them to bring $12 to $15 in one of my upcoming live sales. I was a little disappointed to find out that this 2017 Starbucks mug only sells for about $15 to $20, and I paid $4.99. That's okay, it's still profit. And this one is a 2008 and it brings about $10. Now, I know in that video, I missed another one of these that they had on the end cap. If I'd have had the pair, I could have sold the pair together for about 20. This one only sells for about 10, so it'll go down to the booth, but I only paid 60 cents for it. I paid a total of $1.20 for these two blue and gold, what I call cordial glasses, but I found a listing calling them Moroccan tea glasses. Okay, that makes sense. That listing sold for $15, but they were in better condition. I'll still try to get $15 for mine. There are a couple different ways to go when you find a multi-quantity of something like this. Now, they sell for five to $10 a piece, and that's a lower price point than I like to sell at. I could put all 11 of these into a listing and get about 50 bucks for it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. As opposed to doing a multi-quantity listing where I sell each individual one for five to $10 and then have to package and ship them and all of that. So that's what we're gonna do. I paid 41 cents each for a total of $4.51. These were originally sold as just the, the material that you sewed together and you stuffed it to make a pillow. I can't even remember like when they're back from, but they're awesome. And this Canada Goose is in really good condition. I paid a dollar seventy nine and I should be able to get twenty to twenty five dollars for him. I expect that if I listed this closer to Halloween time, he'd bring a lot more than the fifteen to twenty he's selling for now. But I only paid $1.79 for him, so can't go wrong. All added up, I should be able to turn that $52.84 into at least $400. All right, total there was, uh, I spent, it went from probably like 120, it was 140, it was 120 something, and then it went down to 80 ish <laughs> technical terms um, but some of the things were red tag and those don't get discounted that's why it's not exactly 40 percent off but i'm super happy wow i can't wait to research that artwork actually by the time you're seeing this part of the video i've already researched it and it was in the recap um so i hope that came out something good anyway they're at capacity there's a line to get in that was a crazy busy day everybody's out today but it just goes to show it doesn't 
matter because you're probably looking for something different than all the other people here. So it all works out. Everybody gets to put stuff in their cart. It's a great thing. Okay, we are on schedule, on target for one more Goodwill. So that's where we're headed now. And it's one I haven't been to, holy smokes, for at least a year, more than a year. It's been a long time. So it's not one I normally like to go to because generally there's a line to check out, which I don't like. But we're going to go see. All right. You'll see that on the next video, though. So be sure you are, you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell and uh, come check back and see what we found at the next video. For now, 